first and foremost, I want to give all honours and praises and glory belongs to my Lord and Saviour, whose name is Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Kodash. The name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, and His Son's name is Yahweh Shai, who we reverence. And double honours to the elder apostles of Great Milson that teaches truth well. And to the hopeful elect across the globe, and to the few, the very few brothers and sisters listening and also learning across the globe. The majority of our people that watch these videos, the majority of them, they only a lot of them they watch for entertainment. And the scripture says in the last days you're gonna have scoffers that don't really because a scoffer doesn't really understand the truth, so people speak evil of what they don't understand. So if a man a man or woman, whoever does not understand this truth, the immediate reaction is to scoff against it because they don't understand it. Yahusha has not given them the understanding. But the scripture says what would happen. The scripture said this would happen. This is second Peter three and two. That you may be mindful of the words which were spoken. Okay, before the holy prophets and of the commandment of us, the apostles of our Lord, of the Lord and Saviour, which this is Peter speaking, which he was an apostle, knowing this first, so it's not a surprise, we know these things, but there shall come in the last days scoffers, those that are scoffing against this truth. And another word for scoffer is a mocker, a jera, someone that ridicules the truth, walking after their own lusts. So really it's Yahweh that put the spirit on them to scoff at the truth and to scoff at the men of the Lord. To look at us, hee hee ha ha. To make comments. Look at this, look at that. Okay, but really it's um it's within their self. They in they ain't got they ain't got their um, mental fortitude to do what we do, so obviously they, they're gonna scoff. Okay. Walking after their own lust and to scoff is a lust. Okay. And walking, on, walking after their own deceit, after their own mind, what they think is righteousness. And saying, where is the promise of his coming? In other words, when is your house, when, when, when is he going to come back? You've been saying this for years. That's their response. For since the fathers fell asleep, died, all things continue as they were from the beginning of creation. Okay, for this they willingly are ignorant. And you go into the word ignorant, it's idiotos. Okay, to ignore. That by the word of the Most High, the heavens were of old and the earth standing out of water and in the water. Okay, and that was an example. But our people, they, they don't, they don't, most of our people don't really want to hear this truth. And there's going to be a punishment that comes with that. Correction ain't, it's not wicked for someone to correct you. If you're wicked, then it's going to seem as a wicked thing. It's not wicked for someone to correct you at all. And if someone's doing it out of maliciousness, if someone's doing it out of a wicked mind, Yahweh will deal with them. But men, this is what effeminate men, this is how they are. And you could be a grown ass man that's 50, 40 years old and still can't take correction. You see it as a bad thing. Because our people, they want to hear smooth stuff. They want to hear the smooth stuff. They want to be lied to. They want to be told good stuff about themselves. Let's go to lucky. Let's go to Proverbs nine and six seven. He that reproveth for scorner getteth to himself shame. Quickly go into that definition of scorner. Excuse me. So when we go into this word scorner, it actually says extreme contempt. So you have men that have contempt. As soon as you tell him, it could just be it could just be one little thing. Everything could be everything could be fine. Everything could could be absolutely fine. But you told them one thing that they did not like, and what is that cause? Extreme contempt, which is what anger and disdain, which springs from a person's opinion. Gotta watch out for someone that always says, "Ah, oh, this is my opinion." Okay, what do you think? This is. What's it, what's it, what's it, what's it saying, baby? Just a minute. This is, um, my perception. Your perception is your own opinion. In this truth, we don't deal with our own perceptions. We deal with the word of Yahweh, our Shai, and that's it. A person's opinion of meanness 
of an object okay and a lot of the time someone that don't understand this truth they're going to be looking at the truth in a bad light because they don't understand it it doesn't fit with what they've been taught that's why most old men don't come into the truth most i'm not saying you're not going to have men that are of old age that don't come into the truth. most of them are young that come into the truth because they're teachable they're willing to grow they're willing to learn and of conch consciousness or belief of his own superiority or worth that's that's pride that's pride he fought to yeah that's it or his own superiority or worth yep so that's what a scorner that's the mindset a scorner has they know the truth but refuse to act in a way that strips them of all privileges okay so that's what a scorner is what privileges the privileges of esau so our people they don't really want it they like the idea of the truth but they don't really want the truth as, as long as it's not conflicting with what they they were taught he that reproveth a scorn and getteth himself a shame and he that rebuke, rebuketh a wicked man getteth himself a blot a blot is a stain okay because this guy he's going to be trying to recompense you evil for good there it is you're teaching you're teaching a man you're helping him he wants to repay you evil for good reprove not a scorn unless he hates thee he's going to end up hating you just because you told him something about himself that he didn't like he's going to end up hating you that's a characteristic of women Rebuke a wise man, he will love thee. Why is he going to love you? Because you told him something that could help him. That can get him out of that way of death. Oh man, oi, Tawada. Okay, Tawada, act for that. Give instruction to a wise man and he will be yet to be wiser. He's going to grow in understanding. Teach a just man and he will increase in learning. Because he's willing to learn. Okay. He's willing to learn. Let's go to Proverbs 29. And one. He that often being reproved, hardeneth his neck. That's called being stubborn. The scripture says, My people are rebellious. Bear me just a minute. Hardeneth in his neck shall suddenly be destroyed. So that's what's going to happen. We've told you, you can't say you've never seen us, you can't say you've never seen our videos. You were on here, you were you were scoffing against these men, you were scoffing against the elder apostles. Okay. You're probably watching all these different videos as well. Because you have men that do that. They only come for the knowledge, but they don't apply none of the knowledge. So it's no good if you don't apply. He shall be destroyed. Suddenly shall he be destroyed and without remedy. So it's gonna come all of a sudden. It's gonna be without remedy. What's remedy for? Pain. So there's going to be no remedy because you despise these words. You thought scorn of these words. Ezekiel 33. And this is a common thing with our people. Ezekiel 33. And I want to start at 30. Baba Kasha. But this is something we have to deal with. Okay. And that's part of that long suffering. Bear me just a minute. Ezekiel. Thirty. Thirty three. Thirty three. Thirty two. Okay. Where should we start? Start at. Also, the son of man, the children of thy people, still are talking against thee by the walls. Okay, so you have those that hear this word, they may be discussing it with their friends in the world. Yeah, this and that, and yeah, we know this. We I know some Israelites and this and you know, but they don't really want to associate. They, they don't really want to associate with the truth. They 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 like they're on the fence. They will know they're Israelites, but they're on the fence. They don't want to be associated with this because they don't want to take risks. 
are talking against thee by the walls, indoors, and in the doors of their houses, and on the streets. And some of them are talking shit. Yeah, these guys, you know what they said according to the Bible. You know, this how people this how what this what people are doing. And speak one to another, everyone to his brother, saying, Come, I pray you, and hear what is the word that cometh from the Lord. That's why certain people, they just turn up to camp. They come outside of the camp. Okay. They might even write down some scriptures themselves and think, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to confound him. But it does not work. And they come unto thee as thy people cometh, and they sit before thee as my people, and they will hear my so like and they hear thy words. So they hear what we're teaching, but they will not do this. But they won't they will not apply. They hear, but they will not apply these words. For with their mouth they show much love. I love the God, Lord God, Lord God. Okay, but with their heart goeth after their covetousness. But really, as soon as they heard, they go right back to their covetousness. Whatever they were doing in the world, they go right back to that. Whether it be Christianity, whatever it may be, they go right back to it. Whether it be eating pork, they go right back to it. And know that I'll turn to them as a very lovely song, one that have a pleasant voice. So a lot of our people watch because it's it's a form of entertainment. It's something to do for them. It's it's something to to, to pass time for them. They don't really have that faith, it's just something to do. And when you go into the word pleasant, it's pleasing, acceptable, agreeable, desirable, delightful, delicious, and all these things what can pertain to the flesh. Satisfying to the mind or senses. So this is satisfying to certain men's senses. It could it could be satisfying in, in a in a good way, and it could be satisfying in a negative way where you're not taking it seriously. And that shows from Latin placer. Okay, that's where you get that word compl complacent, placer. To give the pleasure to satisfy, accepted, jo jocular, funny. So, so, yeah, it's funny. Okay, so some people just do this because it's, it's just a laugh to them. But guess what? That's going to catch up. It's going to catch up to you. Okay. This is serious. It's not a game. And can play well on an instrument. For they hear their words, but they will not do them. But they do them not. So you're going to have our people. They hear these words. But they don't do them. So you can't really learn nothing of them. This is just. It's just knowledge for them to take. To write down. So they can show it off to their mates. And say oh look what I know. But they don't apply it in their life. So what good is it? Hmm? And verse 33. When this cometh to pass. Lo. When what comes to pass? The destruction. The calamities. And these prophecies. Lo. It will come. All the things we were speaking of, then shall they know that a prophet have been among them. That's when our people want to get right. That's when our people want to get serious. So with this lesson, I hope this was edifying. And until the next time, Shalom.